السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وخاتم النبيين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Respects and listeners, we are in the final few days of the current Islamic Hijri year of 1438. Next week, we will witness the end of the Hijjah and the arrival of Muharram. the first month of the new 1439th Islamic Hijri year. The Islamic calendar begins with the Hijrah and all civilizations, peoples have always marked the beginning of their calendar from a great momentous event. It was the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum who actually chose the Hijrah as the beginning of the Islamic calendar. During the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhum, he gathered the senior Sahaba radiyallahu anhum and consulted them about marking a beginning point for calculating months and years, a formal official calendar. And there was much consultation. Many of the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum made their suggestions, but ultimately most of the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum suggested one thing that was already the opinion of Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhum And as a result, that's what he decided. And thus the Islamic calendar was marked with the beginning of the Hijrah. The Sahaba radiyallahu anhum, some of them even suggested other dates. But what's remarkable is that collectively the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum chose the Hijrah. the immigration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the companions from Mecca to Medina as the beginning point of the Islamic calendar. They did not choose the birth of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or even the birth of Islam in the 40th year of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's life. Nor did they choose the beginning of the revelation of the Qur'an or even some of the miracles of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such as the miraculous journey of Mi'raj, Isra and Mi'raj in the 50th year of Hijrah, sorry, in the 52nd year of Hijrah, uh, uh, of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's life. Nor did they choose any of the other momentous events after the Hijrah, such as some of the key and decisive battles of Badr, or the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, In fact, they did not even choose the greatest victory and conquest of the Prophet ﷺ of the city of Mecca in the eighth year of Hijrah. Nor did they choose the farewell pilgrimage, which was a huge occasion. And nor did they choose the departure of the Prophet ﷺ from this world as the beginning point of calculating months and years and dates in Islam. Collectively, the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum chose the hijrah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 